Hello, I'm Simon, also known as Polyhop, and welcome to Touch Designer 10, where I'll present topics and mini projects that can be covered in 10 minutes or less. Today we'll look at uh, some fun techniques involving noise animation, including quantization, animating the seed, and smoothing 3D motion. Plus, in the end, it all loops to the timeline. Uh, shout out to my Patreon supporters, and specifically my top supporters. On Patreon, you can get access to exclusive project files, tools, and more. And so, yeah, enough of the intro. Let's go. All right, let's start with a noise top. And we'll use this to create the points for our boxes, the positions. I'll set this resolution to 100 by 100 and the pixel format to 32-bit float under noise. We'll make sure we're using Simplex 4D. Uh, let's set the period to 1.6 and the harmonic gain to 0.9. You can change those later. The amplitude to 1, the offset to 0, and our monochrome flag off so we have RGB values. I'll right-click and add a null and call this POS. Um, let's go ahead and instance this so we can see what we're doing throughout. I'll be making a box, zop. And I'll set this to 0.15 scale. Right click on the output to add a geo comp. And then under instancing tab, turn that on, drop the position into our default instance op and RGB. So we're instancing our boxes. Let's go ahead and render this so we can see what we're doing. I'll add a render top, setting that resolution to 1080 by 1080. Now I also want a camera and I'll be setting this to 333 for our position. And then under view, uh, I'll choose orthographic and like five for our ortho width. And then I want this to also look at point zero, zero, zero. So under X form, I'll create a null comp and just drag that to our look at parameter. So now we have all of those cubes in view and looking at it from all sides. Now I'll go ahead and right click and add a null and turn on the display flag. Alt left square bracket and Alt F4 to make this right pane a top view and then right clicking on the left turning off display tops. Now I'm going to use a constant material here. Drag that onto my geo and then uh, we're going to use SSAO to give some shadow and detail to these cubes. So let's set the resolution to full, full sample directions and steps, bring the surface of void slightly down. Um, we don't want any blur radius. We can bring the contrast down a bit and the, uh, the radius up. You can adjust this as you'd like, um, but here's maybe a good Good starting point. Okay, um, we can now go ahead and uh, I actually had quantized this with a limit. So let's do that. Limit top, quantize, round, 0.2. Gives us that um, kind of voxel uh, formation. We can also go ahead and I'm gonna add a null after this for so I can add things here later. And then uh, let's add some color. So middle mouse on this to add a noise top, drag that into the second noise coordinate map. Let's make sure this is just noise and let's bring the period up quite a bit to like 15. Let's also go ahead and add a lookup top and a ramp. So these will be our colors. Um, you can do what you like here. I'll just make a quick rainbow gradient. Can be adjusted later. And uh, right click to add a null. COL for color. Under our second instance tab, let's drop in our color op and RGB. And now we have some color going on. That's great. We can, um, while we're thinking about what it looks like, let's add a black background. Under output, we can choose over and swap order. 
And then uh, let's get add a bloom as well. It's a little bit um, intense, but we can kind of adjust this as we'd like. Maybe bring the pre-black up, bloom intensity down a little bit. You can adjust as you see fit. Cool, so let's give it some animation. Um, we can animate this with the timeline so it loops. And I'll grab a timeline chop, grabbing frame and end. We're going to divide these using a math chop and divide channels. And this will give us the fraction for our timeline, adding a null, calling this fract, and maybe giving it a color. Uh, now we'll use this with another lookup chop and I'll create a pattern to generate a sine and a cosine wave that can be used to animate our noise in a loop. So under channel T, call this TXY with square brackets so it creates two channels. And we can offset one of them by 0.25 by writing the Python expression 0.25 times me.chan index with a capital I. So that'll offset uh, our basically first channel here. Right clicking, adding a null, calling this loop. So we will select this and we're gonna use this for both our position and color noise. Right click to add a math and then a null. I'll copy that structure, paste it here for later. Let's go ahead and transform our noise in the Z and in 4D. It's a little bit fast. So we'll make this a 0.1. We'll deal with the jumping later, but let's just get our noise animating first. Uh, this should also be 4D and under transform, we'll do the same thing. Z and 4D. And this we could probably bring to say like two, so it moves a little bit faster. All right, so we're pretty close. Um, let's just add some smoothing to our motion. We can do this with feedback. So I'll right click, add another null. I'll call this start feedback. And then we have our end null, end feedback from earlier. I'll middle mouse to add a feedback top and then right click to add a switch and drop this into the second input for the switch. Drag our end feedback onto feedback uh, so that it shows up in the target top. And then under switch, we'll turn blend between inputs on and set this to 0.9. So now we're getting a sort of a blend between the previous state and the new position. Cool, so the last thing we wanna do is make the seed here um, kind of animate a number of times throughout the timeline so we get a larger shuffle of the blocks. We can do this with a pattern chop and we'll choose random per cycle, setting it to say 20 cycles, so this you can change for the frequency of this effect. I'll copy my lookup and use this as my second input, maybe calling it something useful like seed. Um, the only thing we want to change here is the interpolate should be off. Otherwise, you'll get um, like animated ramping between the values. Okay, so let's add a null, call this seed, and then we're going to export that to our noise. And there you go. So here we have periodic shuffling throughout the timeline. And... Uh, kind of a smaller shift as we go. So the last thing I want to point out is if you do want to export a perfect loop of this setup, you'll turn off the real-time flag, and then you'll want to let the timeline run um, starting a, you know some frames before up until the end with the once option limiting the range. Then you can jump to the beginning and record your full timeline. What this does is it makes sure that your feedback is using those last frames so that when you start, um, it's not going to have a discontinuity on that loop. And there you have it. I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.